what's up you guys welcome back to our channel if you're new here we're Mackie and Amanda I'm Mackie I'm Amanda and, and we're, we're the spooky, spooky booze this one I'm excited for not the topic but mostly because we are at home safe and sound and it's daylight at night especially in this house it's definitely not as comfortable as it is right now, and it kind of all changed after we came back from the Whaley house. Yes, so a lot has happened since the Whaley house, and it seems to be connected to that. So just so much has happened that we decided to make this video about it. We haven't ever had a place affect us like this. No. Like, we've always been so careful of telling things like that they're not allowed to come with us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I feel like... We brought something home with us. I think so too. Are we ready, Battle? I'm ready, Battle. Do you want to set up two devices and okay. we the flashlight in the sweet spot? Alright, perfect. Uh, should we do the new pod? Oh! oh. Alright. <gasps> no! Wait, it's gotta be the TV, right? It's not. No, it stopped, bro, and it hasn't moved. Alright, well, as you can see, we have a couple devices set up in the room just while we're talking about this, but... <sighs> we can't see the flashlight behind us, so we're not gonna know if it's going, going on off. and off. Yeah. Right, oh, I was like, right now it's off. I'm 90% sure. I hate not facing. I'm like, I'm pretty sure right now it's off. And then I turned around and double check. Now it's off. And it was on. Okay, so it has been going off. Stop it. It's like by all the crystals, too. I was saying the exact <laughs> same thing. There's a little girl in here with us. There is? I think so. I definitely feel like a young female presence. Alright, if there's a little girl in here, do you want to play with our toys? Um, then we have our flashlight. Yeah. But... I don't feel her anymore. Really? No. Oh, she won't. I know, I feel like she, maybe she's passing through it because I felt her. And I was like, oh, she's gone. Got right in the portal. Flashlight's on. Oh my gosh. The portal. Yeah. Let's just get straight into the things that have happened since then. So first, if you haven't watched the Whaley video, go watch it because there's a lot that happens there that looking back at the video, I was just watching and I'm like, oh my gosh, things are adding up. The night we first got home, I was out in the living room at night and all of a sudden it just got a super heavy, weird vibe. Alright, this is weird. So I physically got up and left the living room because it felt so weird. Which, like, not to interrupt you or anything, Mackie's house is pretty intense. Yeah. Like, for you to get up and leave mm -hmm. a room, like, we've been in the garage before where, like, I was shitting my pants yeah. and you were like, nah, just another mm -hmm. night in the haunted mm -hmm. garage, you know? So, like, for you to get up and want to leave the room. Just for the rest of the night, I'm like, okay, there's just a really weird vibe here. We go to sleep. The next morning, my mom tells me, she's like, Oh yeah, Brandon said weird stuff was happening in the living room last night. Like, what do you mean? My brother, Brandon, he like does not talk about any of this stuff, does not like any of it. So mm -hmm. he's never said anything Besides like Besides when he was our cameraman mm -hmm. and like we were trying to like get him to be like, like he was our base. We're always like, yeah. something crazy happens. We're like, what do you think, yeah. Brandon? Yeah. Cause he was like the one where if Brandon was like, I, mm -hmm. I can't explain it, mm -hmm. then you know it was like unexplainable. Exactly. But the only other thing that he was ever like, it was kind of weird was that who. Mm -hmm. so for the who, yeah. So yeah. for him to bring this up? Basically what he said was around four or five in the morning, he was sleeping in his room. He woke up to the noise of something falling in the living room. He said it's found like just a huge crash on the ground. Right after that, he heard a bunch of like banging around, like someone was out there. What he heard is one of the craziest things I've ever heard him say. He said that he heard the piano out there play. Like. Do, 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 do. Yep. Do, do, do. He said that the piano played and all the stuff which he doesn't talk about. It woke him up. Of course, when we were in the Whaley house, I played the piano. And what well, Mrs. Whaley, one of the things that she's known for, of course, is playing instruments and like her love for music. Mm -hmm. And she made one of each, like she made each of her kids learn at least one instrument each. You played the piano for her in her home and she told us that she loved it, you know? Yeah. She was re so reactive to it. So for then the same night you get home to mm -hmm. feel something heavy and the piano to play, and the next day they went out there and looked everywhere and nothing had fallen onto the ground. That's why I was going to ask Brandon this morning. He was so shook from this that mm -hmm. today he brought it up to me. And it's been like yeah. two weeks? Yeah, a week two, and a, yeah like two, two weeks. It's been two weeks. Mm -hmm. Just so just super weird. Like I've never, that's like something out of a horror movie. The piano playing randomly. I actually have a list written down of all the stuff that's happening. Because I'm like, I need to start taking 
note of this. That same morning where Brandon was talking about the piano and stuff, my mom told me that she like woke up in the middle of the night with just like a terrible dream that she was like some like an old shack or something of some sort, like a little like outhouse type thing. And there was a spirit in there like trying to attack her, which she's like never had a dream like that before. Like same night. And we take Granny happened. everywhere. Yeah, that's Granny slept mm-hmm. in Cosmo. Yeah, the Granny slept everywhere. So she had that dream the same night that the piano thing happened. That's intense. When she said the outhouse thing, immediately I thought of that little brick build, the little brick structure in the back the of the outhouse. house. No, yes. it was literally the outhouse. Was it? Was it an outhouse? She, um, the daughter Violet, right? Yeah. I might have it wrong, fact check me. Yeah. Go watch the video to fact check me. <laughs> One of the daughters out by the outhouse jumped into the well. Mm-hmm. And then the That's other Violet. girl, yeah. and then the other girl shot herself in the heart. Right outside of the outhouse. And he found her outside the outhouse. I didn't even know that was an outhouse, though. That's crazy. Did you notice a bathroom in the Whaley house? No. There wasn't one. Oh my god. The first indoor plumbing was at the... Yeah. The... Waffle. No. uh, Kellogg. Kellogg house. They only had an outhouse. Oh. The next night, me, my mom, and brother are all standing in the kitchen, and we hear a kid go, Hey! Like, so... I was on the phone yes, with you, you right? Yes, you were on the phone. And we were all we all stopped and looked at each other and we're like, that sounded like a kid, like, in our house right here. And we were so confused because we we're like, no, that sounded like a kid. Like, not even a spirit. That sounded like a kid. It was loud enough for you to, like, stop. I, like, everyone yeah. stopped talking and you go, did you hear yeah. that? Uh-huh. And I, on the phone, like, I didn't hear anything. Oh, my God. Like, look at this whole list I have. I don't even remember all of these, so... No. I'm- the next one, the next night, when I was in the living room again playing piano, and it felt like someone was just standing right next to me, like in the little corner shove next to the piano, it felt like someone was right there, like squeezed in between there, and it sounded like they were shuffling around, and so I heard this while I was playing piano. Oh, like, like with you sitting there? Like yeah, this happened yeah, next to you? right next to me. And so I stopped playing, and I started to get that heavy feeling again. And I look over and we have that little mirror hanging on the wall and it started like vibrating, like rattling. For those of you guys who don't know either, like it's not just a mirror hanging on the wall, yeah. it's an eye, oh, isn't it? Yeah. It's like an evil eye. Yeah, it's an evil eye mirror. Mm-hmm. And so it started rattling. It's like every time I was playing the piano, something started happening. It and so it comes back to the piano. It does. So I don't know if I don't know who the last person was who played that piano, like when you think about it. It's like no one gets to play the piano. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but once again, it just felt so heavy that I got up and left the room and went in the garage. But then when I went into the garage- We were also on the phone for this, right? (laughs) Yes, I think so. The sign falling, were we on the phone for that? Or the shadow thing? The shadow thing. Okay, I go into the garage and I'm sitting there and I'm on the phone with Amanda. And out of the corner of my eye, I see something like literally like that tall like running from the garage door that the door that enters from the house into the garage running from there like towards the couch that I'm sitting on and I quick like looked over because I thought it was like a raccoon or a rat or something that got in sprinting at me and I turn and look and nothing's there. Do you remember I didn't even connect this. Do you remember what I saw last night at the Biltmore? How I'm like I wanted to say it was a child but it was like too low. Yes. I wanted to say it was a child because the height was literally like maybe two feet off the ground. Oh, and it was like a black gosh. mass, like a shadow. Yes. That was like like a raccoon or like... That's crazy. And now I'm thinking at the Whaley house, the guy, Banjo. Oh, Next to Banjo, I was like, yeah. the flashlight oh, on, I watched oh, it. Oh. And then even Banjo saw... Oh, oh my god! god. Oh no, okay, okay. That's um, okay, that's okay. That's okay. Oh. That's okay. But even Banjo saw, he was talking about, in the video, of he's talking about a black mass he saw in the corner that it looked like some sort of animal. Oh, that's a completely different thing. I was thinking about how Banjo, I'm like, did you lose a childhood friend? Oh, no, 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 I'm I'm talking about that too, but when you said that, um, you saw something like low like that, Mm -hmm. and we were talking about that, it just, it just popped into my head when we were in the courthouse, he said that. But then it gets even weirder, because the next night, I'm out in the garage, and I'm just like bouncing back and forth between the living room and the garage, trying to find somewhere that's safe. (laughs) So that night, I'm sitting in the garage, I had just hung up with you, and in the garage, we have this mattress that you use when you come over here, and then we have like a box spring, 
And so these are like, obviously it's a mattress, it's freaking heavy. So sandwich in between these two things is one of my mom's real estate signs, literally sandwiched in between them. But and they're like all over the garage. Yes. Like they're always in there, multiple lined up. It's not unusual. Mm hmm. And so I'm sitting there and all of a sudden the sign completely tips over, gets pulled out from in between the mattress and the box frame and falls on the floor. And I literally jumped up and sprinted out of there and screamed and went in there. I'm like, to my mom, like your sign just fell over. Like you need to come out here with me and tell me if it was sitting like this. So just for myself, I'm like, I need to know like how this sign was sitting exactly. Yeah. If it just like tipped over or what happened, but she was like pulled out. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it because it was so much like weight up, like sandwiching it. Like how did it fall over? And there's so many signs, like it, yes. there's so much shit in the garage. I know. Like, it could have picked anything to push. Like when we were there, I had to push the wax off that one time. Yes. You know, like, it literally could have picked anything. So I feel like the fact that something, I don't know, it was sandwiched in between the mattresses. Yes. It could pick something that was literally mm -hmm. sandwich that would have to pull out yes. and then push over. That's insane. And it's like, I've been sitting there for what, like 45 minutes before this happens. So, so I, long. I just don't understand. And the thing that stuff like this happens at my house, but the thing that makes it, makes me think it's connected to Whaley is because it's whatever this is. It doesn't feel like anything that's been in my house. I was gonna before. say it's different. Well, yeah. even just how. That change. Or not. How like consistently active yes. it is. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I feel like there are nights where we come here and we're like, like something's like yeah. tonight. Like yeah. your house is more active, is it a full mm -hmm. moon? And we're trying to figure out like what the common denominator is, why sometimes it's more intense yeah. than others. And this is just like without fail, every single time on it. And that's what the guy said at the Whaley house. Remember? He's I like, have have to. To. Yes. He said it's just consistent. Everyone says it's just consistent. Okay, this is actually crazy because I'm not even thinking about this stuff until we're bringing it up right now. I'm like, this is just all clicking. Like, no, it's like connecting the dots. Yes. It makes sense. The other thing is, Kaya has been going crazy at like something multiple times, just barking, growling, following something with her eyes, just going absolutely insane. And even my mom will call me into the room and be like, Kaya, Kaya see something. Oh, gosh. It's bad when the dogs are seeing yeah. it. Yeah. So it's just been a lot of noises, even like at night when I'm putting Kaya to bed upstairs, it sounds like someone's walking up the stairs. It just sounds like someone's in the house, like moving around and doing stuff. <sighs> in the Whaley video, it almost looks like it's whatever it is, is like tr targeting me because mm -hmm. I was being affected the most and felt like I was being touched and all this stuff. And I played the freaking piano and no, like you were the one who mom like communicated with yeah. Mama Whaley more than any of us. It's so weird. How was it sleeping out there? I mean, I last feel like night? a lot of it was because I know like about the piano mm -hmm. going off and like all of these things that have been happening. Mm -hmm. So I was more nervous to sleep in the living room than ever. Yeah. Because like I'm, I'm always scared to sleep in there, but mm -hmm. normally I can just like turn and face the back of yeah. the couch and like that's all I can see. And I'm like, that's fine. Like it's just me and the couch, you know. Yeah. But last night was different. Just the waking up every single hour and like. I, once I fall asleep, I'm out. Six mm -hmm. hours, at least. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why? How could I be waking up every single hour? And then I woke up this morning out there and just felt, like, off. Like, just, like, weird, you know, where you wake yeah. up and you're kind of, like, I don't know, like, kind of dizzy yeah. and, like, your eyes can't focus. And I, I, like, stood up to, like, walk and was, like, I couldn't, like, catch my bearings. It was just super weird until I was, like, sat down the next time. Probably took ten minutes for me to feel normal. What the heck? And, like, I feel fine now. Yeah. I only share it because that's never happened yeah. before, so that was <gasps> Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Oh, this was the scariest one. I was in the kitchen, it was 11 o'clock at night, and just put Kaya to bed. My mom was still upstairs with Kaya, tucking her in. Yes, Kaya's a needy husky. She forces us to tuck her in at night or else she will not go to bed. And I'm standing in the kitchen, I just had Taco Bell delivered. And oh. so I bring in the Taco Bell, and I'm standing there about to start eating it, and it sounded like someone full force was just at the window and just went like that, like slammed, <sighs> so like checked it with their shoulder. So loud, the entire house shook, the living room, the mirrors on the wall shook. That's how hard it hit. And so immediately I'm frozen. I like could not move. And I'm like, okay, either this is the DoorDash guy like trying to break in or something else. And I stand there for a second. And once again, the bang happens even harder. Everything shakes again. And it's at that point that I start sprinting to the upstairs because I'm like, okay, the DoorDash guy's trying to break in. The DoorDash guy's trying to break in. And as I'm running, I look in the reflection of the mirror and at the front door, the REM pod just beeped. 
the flashlight just went off. The flashlight just went back on. I just started sweating like five minutes ago at the beginning of the story. Like, I started getting really nervous. Like, I feel like I'm flushed. Like, you know, when you're about to pass out after you get your blood drawn? That's how I feel right now. Okay, so in the reflection of the mirror, I see like a ball of light, like super bright light at the front door, like this big. And I thought it was the flashlight on the phone. The flashlight just turned on, I think. Oh my god. So I thought it was the flash. I thought it was the flashlight on the guy's phone. So I'm freaking out even more. I'm like, he's at our front door. He's at our front door. So I run to the stairs and I yell up to my mom. I'm like, I think someone's like trying to get into the house right now. And so she comes down, we go and look and the gate was shut. Our gate that leads up to the front door was shut and locked because when I grab my food, I always shut it and lock it right away because I'm always scared someone's gonna walk in behind I'm, me. You can only open the gate yeah. from the inside of the courtyard. Mm-hmm. For those of you who don't know, yeah. like there's no way to open the gate from the outside. No, there's no handles on it. There's nothing. So the Dardash like would have he wouldn't have been able to get to no. the front door or the windows. He yeah. would have had to leave it like out by the. Mm-hmm. He left it outside the gate. And I just reached my hand out and grab it and shut the gate again. So the gate was completely locked, no one in the courtyard, nothing. And at that point I felt super weird and so I just went I went straight into my room and started eating them like I'm not doing that. The whole house shook yeah. at how loud this bang was. And it like makes someone me think, on the window. Well, things oh. have been pretty good for me. I don't want to be <laughs> oh like, after all that. But like my house has been pretty mellow. Other than I feel like Seeing a lot more figures. I, mm-hmm. I told you the other day, even my mom, who's kind of like Brandon, who de- like yeah. ne- never sees any things, never had any experience, is definitely the kind of person who's like, I need to see it to believe yeah. it. The other day, I'm dying Easter eggs with like a couple of my friends, and we're sitting down, and she goes, Amanda, is there someone like around today in the house? And like, there, I've been seeing someone consistently, and my dad sees things, and every once in a while, my dad will mention it to my mom if he's yeah. like, someone's hanging around, and my mom will always ask me, like, you know, to confirm what my dad's mm-hmm. saying, whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's, sometimes it's a little like loop around like that. Yeah. So when she asked me, I was thinking my dad had been seeing someone in the house. Yeah. And he was absolutely right because I'd been seeing someone. Flashlight. I had been oh. seeing someone and thinking that they were there with one of like the guests that were yeah. there with me. I was like, why do you ask? Like, thinking it's my dad. Uh-huh. Did dad say something? No, dad hasn't seen anything. Dad hasn't seen anything. But my mom, who's, like, never seen yeah. anything, doesn't talk about it, was out mowing our pastures. I just saw a cat. I just saw, like... No, you did not. not. Absolutely you did not. Did. I saw his little, like, brown tabby oh, tail, his little striped tail. Come here, pretty kitty. I literally thought you had a cat. I, like, got so excited. Mm. Um, He just, like, his little tail flicked around. Oh. Like, he just, like, wrapped around. Or was it the cat from the freaking Whaley house that we saw? It was like stuff. Okay, thank I'm God. Positive. So she's like, have you been seeing anyone? I'm thinking it's my dad. You know, I'm like, why are you asking? Why are yeah. you asking? She goes, well, while I was out mowing the pasture, she says, uh, I kept seeing, they're thinking that I saw someone like out of the corner of my eye. And it was like every time, like a full figure, I would see them and turn to look. And every single time that she would turn to look, they weren't there. But that's why she asked, which is exactly what I was seeing. Like, I watched him walk out of the living room, which now that I'm saying the story happens to be where my mom was sitting alone. Mm-hmm. And we were all in the dining room facing the kitchen area, right? So, like, Brendan's back is to the kitchen, mm-hmm. but I'm facing it. Um, and I just watch it walk out of the living room, and then it kind of just disappears, like, into the kitchen in front of the garage door. Just gone. Oh, my gosh. Wait, and then you saw that woman and kid in... Oh my gosh, yeah. In that old time clothing. And I was thinking about it. You don't think they were part of the Whaley family, do you? I didn't until just now. Because the little boy Thomas died. And then, I don't know. three of the Whaley family children died super young. Three out of five. Yeah, and then Mama Whaley, Violet. Do you think it could have been one of them with one of the boys? Yeah. Oh, I'd never even thought about it. Because that was right after Whaley House. I'd happened. never even thought about it. I literally have that conversation on FaceTime still. Mm-hmm. Remember? Oh, I was like, it was so, I was it like, was so this. gnarly, like so clear for you that you're like, record this. Bro, I'm so glad that I asked you to do that. Yeah. I, I would love to like watch it back because like now I have to look at a picture of Mama Whaley and like. Mm-hmm. They're in like old clothing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it have been like 1850s era clothing? Probably. What if they all want us to go back to Whaley House? We can do it that soon. Oh my god. I, know. I mean, do we just insert the clip of our FaceTime call here? Yeah. All right. Here it is. I have been in bed in this 
same spot for like the last 12 hours have not left the house it's not that late literally 10 o'clock yeah and brendan is so sweet he comes in and he brings me a glass of water as i'm taking a drink of water brendan is right to my side holding the water cup for me he's six three wearing all black i can clearly see him and then all of a sudden i see out of the other side towards the right there's a woman standing in my bedroom and it's not like a lot of times I've been a little freaked out and I wonder if it's because I I haven't been practicing because I never have yeah but I've been seeing a lot more shadow figures recently than I have full-blown apparitions and especially ones where I can have full-on conversations with them yeah please hold not you her um me and Brendan are the only two people in the house right now. She is clear as day, ready to come through. But as I'm taking this sip of water, I, like, look up and I notice, like, both of them right next to me. So I'm, like, literally just looking straight at her. And I can see her long enough to see the hat that she's wearing, um, the dress that she has on, long enough for me because I'm, like, bent over so I, I, I can see Brendan's stomach, but I look up to be able to see her like face and her hat. She's kind of got a rounder face, beautiful like brown eyes, brown hair that's a little bit shorter. And as I go down, I'm looking at um, her black dress that kind of like folds over right here. It comes up to her neck, has a tiny, tiniest little slit right here, uh -huh. then comes back up long enough for me to be able to scan her entire outfit think she's really tall brendan 6 3 you know like is she in heels and so i look down i can't even see her feet because her dress is so long her hat had this like half mesh kind of thing over it literally looks like like lace, yeah, okay. like lace. That was a much better word, thank you. <laughs> like lace over it, looked like she was dressed to go to a funeral. And uh, uh, no like bad vibes at all. I lay back down and I'm kind of like sitting here for a second and I, I can't really see her too much anymore, but I, I can't see her like at all anymore, but I can still feel her in the room. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a lot of information. And so I'm just like trying to pick things up and for some reason, I, I never go for names first because yeah. as we all know, not for me. So I'm trying to think of the outfit that she's in, like what time period would this be? And then all of a sudden, I see another person in my room, a younger boy, definitely younger than seven, eight, um, blonde hair. And he was in a white top and like suspender overall type of things that were a lighter color. Uh -huh. Maybe, and I haven't seen any other men. So like, I don't know if there's a husband. I haven't seen a whole fam. Don't even know if these two are related. There are times where people are like, oh, like if a man is a medium, then why can't she see what's going on? Like, yeah. it depends if they show themselves to me. And these were just two people who like, I was minding my own business. I'm just trying to go to bed at, at meanly, um, usually 10, 13 p.m. <laughs> And boom, all of a sudden, these strangers pop in my room. Totally good vibes. Well, <laughs> watching that back kind of yeah, 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 yeah. made me, like, not want to go back for sure. I know. Talking about all of this and, like, adding it up, you know what I mean? This is the first time that we've sat down and, like, some of those stories I hadn't heard yet. I know. There's just so much. It's been happening, like, every night since we left Whaley House. Okay, I'm just filming this on my phone really quick, but we wanted to add it in. So after we finished filming that video in the daytime, that same day at night, probably midnight or 1 a.m., and I was laying in bed, and I was watching TV. Well, I'm laying there, and I hear a guy say, Hey. Like, just like that. Like, he knew me. And I looked up from my phone and looked at the TV and was like, Was that from the TV? But I had the volume so low with the subtitles on and everything. So the volume was so low, I'm like, that was way too loud for it to come to the TV, come from the TV. Well, about five minutes later, we have our filming backpack right there and we hadn't touched it all day. It had been over 12 hours at this point from when we last touched this backpack. And it was leaning up against the bed like that. And it's a heavy bag, at least 25 pounds. And it tipped over like that onto its front. And I was just thinking, okay, well, that could have just been gravity or something like that, making it fall over. 
so I didn't think anything of it. I looked down at it, it looks fine, and I was like, there's no way I'm reaching my hand down there to pick it up. About 30 minutes later, I turn the TV off and I see this bright light coming from somewhere and I look down and there's a light on in the backpack. And this wasn't too weird because I was like, okay, the light could have turned on when the backpack fell because with our colored light, that big light, it turns on a lot. If the backpack ever falls, it will turn on because the button you just click in and goes on. So it's super easy. So I was like, okay, it's just that light. So I reach my hand into the bag, pull it out, and it's not on. So what light's on? I look down and it's our main camera light. It's weird because the button you have to click to turn it on is literally indented into this plastic stuff. And you have to hold the button down for three seconds. So there's like no physical way that it could have turned on by itself. And then at that point, I'm like, I'm done talking about this subject for a while because it was really freaking me out. So now it's two weeks later, but, but that's just the last update so far of what has happened. So adding it all up makes me feel a little weird and not mm -hmm. want to go back. Mm -hmm. But let us know if you guys want to see us go back and we will. So please <laughs> let us know what you thought about yeah. the Whaley House video. Let us know what you thought about this video about the hauntings that we've been experiencing since we left the Whaley House. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <gasps> Can you stop? So we can do it. <laughs> There's no way. Well, all right, we gotta go. Good luck. All right, peace. <laughs> We're at the inn at Mission San Juan Capistrano. It's just built on top of a cemetery. When they broke ground, they found bones. Just talking to hotel staff, there's a lot that goes on they've here. They've actually showed us videos of things that they've captured on security cameras. It just turned off. And then this said Apple. It clicked. It hit the button. Over there in the mission, a lot of guests see spirits walking all around. Will you come with us when we walk over to the mission right now? Turn off the flashlight if you will. <gasps> was in the bathroom. It did. Oh! Was that? Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It definitely was. Amanda, the oldest neighborhood in California. I just totally saw someone next to me. Really? Yeah, like right next to my. Sounds like someone's knocking on the car. Like I could feel it in I the could car. Feel it too. Move to the side just for a second for me. Perfect. You're amazing. Oh, I knew it. I knew it.